So what was making this album together like? We're making a really weird egg chorus right now. Eggs, and eggs, we've, eggs. We've decided to find the weirdest guitar tone possible to do. One, two, three, four. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Can you ask that question again? What was making this album together like? Oh, it was great. I mean, we're, we're like brothers from another mother. We get along so great. We knew making this album would be so much fun. Where is Corey this time? Danny, Danny, Danny. Can we get him out of his trailer, please? Baby, is Corey still putting on his moisturizer? Is he getting fresh lemons? Danny, 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 Danny. I love your hair. So we're making an inclusive, fun album that's accessible to everyone. Yeah, this is all relatable content. Then why are you wearing that shirt? We've been dreaming of the sound since we were boys. Yeah, we've been sharing manuscripts and scores back and forth for, for years. But your PR agent said you wrote and recorded all 11 songs in nine days. Did you hire a PR agent? Okay, ready? Danny, I love your hair. Your hair is awesome. Thanks. Your PR release stated that you both have had some tough life experiences, and part of this album is simply bringing joy to kids' lives. What can you tell us about that? Where's the hairstylist? How is my hair? It's time to film the video! We're a dynamic duo like Batman and Ron. SpongeBob and Patrick. Venus and Serena. I'm Serena. I'm Serena. I'm Serena. I'm Serena. How many Grand Slams has Serena won? 17. 23. I'm Serena. Whoever touches the disco ball first is Serena. So how did this album really come about? Well, it all started when I had a little trouble with the law and I was in prison and I just, I thought I want to turn my life around. I want to do something really great for kids. That's my life story. Well, we're in a band now, so it's our story. That's like me saying I wanted to write music because of my sad family story. Are you saying we're not family? Because I thought that was your whole thing. We're like, we're doing this together. Well, yeah, we're like a family because you're a pain in the... I was really inspired by Beat Hubbins' Nine and Three Quarters Sonata, and I brought that to Corey. It's Beethoven, and that's Mozart. We utilized highly sophisticated ninth chords in our funk homage, Chicken, Don't Cross the Road. What he said, Chicken Meters. Don't cross the road, yeah! Just as Mozart uses repeating motifs in his Requiem, we do the same thusly in our song, Cool Beans. Cool Beans, Cool Beans, Cool Beans. Different inflections of the bean. <clears throat> bean inflections. Yeah. Just, so I'm talking now. Just as Cool Beans, Cool Beans, Cool Beans. Cool Beans, 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 Cool Beans. Cool. Beans. Will you give us a little tour of the studio? Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, everybody loves the studio. People think you... Hey. I was really thinking of Edgar Allan Poe's poem, The Raven, when I penned the lyrics for Chicken, Don't Cross the Road.
We really wanted to highlight the plight of the chickens with chicken don't cross the road. But I thought the idea came from a bunch of kids in a workshop. Now... Turn that off! Turn that off! <laughs> We're having fun here! It's fun! It's fun! Ralph, where's Waldo Emerson said, to be great is to be misunderstood. That's why I wrote eggs. How'd you come up with the idea for the videos? What? We wanted to create a beautiful vision for the children to take in and just really soak up the mood of the songs and the album. We wanted to dress up in chicken and lemon outfits. Yeah, this will be the last album we make together. Fine. 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 I'll see you then.